looks amazing. Okay. So trust me on that. It's a good thing. Um, but what I would love, if you don't mind, tell me your name and um, tell me how to spell out your name as well, just in case someone listens to this later. Okay. Well, my name is Jeff Colley, C O L L I E. And Jeff, uh, you know, we're talking about this case that, I mean, this, I guess this Jane Doe, and really, I mean, you're the kind of the start of it all in this case, for the county at least, finding out about her. Pretty much, yes. Tell me, tell me, walk me through what happened. Uh, back in 87, I don't even remember which month it was, to be honest with you. Uh, I want to say August, maybe. It was late summer, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was messing around on my three-wheeler out in the pasture trying to figure out where I was going to hang a deer stand for the upcoming deer season and just happened to be at the right spot at the wrong time apparently and seen the body laying there which at the time it was just bones and, and clothing is what it was so it had already decomposed because uh, about June so yeah that would have put it about August June my dad was gone to uh, National Guard camp for two weeks mm -hmm. and somewhere about that time my mom was home alone and there was a vehicle that kept coming around the area in the evenings and got her concerned so that's she called me then to come out and check because but then nobody thought nothing of it because uh shortly after that it was just gone never seen it again and then uh it was several weeks later you could smell a dead animal in the area. That's what it smelled like anyways, with a dead animal. You know, when a cow or something dies, you can, you can smell it. Sure. And of course, never thought anything about it, just dead critter. And then that's when I was out messing around on the three-wheeler. And then we kind of put two and two together when I found the body that that's what we were smelling at the time. Oh my God. So. That is wild. <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah. Thank God your mom didn't get hurt or anything. Yeah, that was it's, the person. I yeah, know. exactly. I, you know, it was just odd. It was a truck she didn't recognize from the area. Yeah. So that's why she was all concerned. For sure. Um, this area, so, I mean, you lived out here. You no, lived? I never personally lived out here. Okay. My folks did. Okay, gotcha. I lived in Abilene at the time. Right. So, so you came out But here I hung out here a hunted. lot. Okay. Yeah, I hung out here a lot. Was this a popular place for you to hunt, for other people to hunt? Quite a few people hunted out in this area. Okay. The the landowners that own this land, they had a hunting party that would come out every year and go deer oh, hunting. Seriously? So yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, there was there's probably anywhere from seven to ten of them that'd be out here hunting. That's pretty impressive. During the deer season. Yeah, yeah. And right around I think right around I mean, granted, when her body was found, it was probably I don't know when did deer season. It was like early fall. Yeah, it'll been about this time in all honesty, between August, September. Yeah. About this time frame of the year yeah. is when it was. Yeah. Oh my gosh. When you found, when you stumbled upon her body, mm -hmm. I mean, what's going through your mind? It was like, oh, great. You know, yeah. because my folks actually had just gone on vacation, yeah. <laughs> which they don't normally do. But, you know, here it is. Great. Now I'm going to get in trouble for this again because, you know, I'm always doing something at yeah. that time. That, yeah. Well, you were younger. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, I'd called, we ended up calling. 911. I guess it was 911 at that time. Sheriff's Department, and of course the Sheriff's Department and the ambulance and everybody come out here, lights and siren, and and I just hung around and waited for them to show up. And then uh, after that, I was pretty much the end of it for me. Yeah, nothing ever came. Out. I mean, I mean, what do you think about that? Her body being out here and everything. And it's kind of connecting the dots too. Yeah. Um, it, it was just, it was strange finding it. I mean, it's just something you don't expect. Right. You know, it's out in here, little town Kansas. What happens there? Yeah. You know, it's just something really out of the ordinary. My take, I mean, just personally, I mean, I, I granted, I went, I went a little bit different than what the, the sheriff's office had taken me on because I went kind of above here. But I mean, it's mm -hmm. kind of one of those areas I feel like you kind of got to know the area. Yeah, it's, it's. It's not something that you would think somebody from I-70 would just haul somebody up here because this area is just kind of off the beaten path, really, Yeah. to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, 
as the crow flies, we're, you can see I-70, but to get here, especially if you don't know the area, get here and do what you do or whatever it is and then get back to where you were. Yeah. So what do you think about this? So like the, the sheriff's office, you know, they're, they're working on stuff. To, I mean, they've always, I guess, been inadvertently working on this case. I mean, if the case is open, it's open. Um, but they're, they're working to give like this lady, this mm -hmm. Jane Doe, you know, I mean, she's buried at the cemetery. She doesn't have a, a gravestone. Right. So they're trying to work on stuff to kind of give her, give her a name, even though they don't know her name. Right. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's a valiant effort on their part to do it, you know, to, to try to get all the pieces put together to, uh, uh, you know, figure out who she was, where she lived, you know, somebody's daughter, could have been somebody's mom, who knows, I don't know what age it was. It was yeah. I said it was just bones and, and clothing when I found her, but uh, you know, it's, it, she belonged somebody somewhere. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm sure they're probably wondering what happened. Yeah, I'm hoping at least. I mean, it's just, it's just kind of sad. Mm -hmm. you know? It can be, yeah. So, I mean, like I've been trying to put together information and I've been giving the sheriff's office information, vice versa, and we're just hoping that maybe we can bring this case to light again and. I guess fortunately you're still around to yeah. so be able to tell more. I mean, I know it's <laughs> unfortunate in a sense, but at least you were able to, you spotted her because who knows? I mean, granted, it, it was around a time where people were out here. But yeah. I mean, she was out here for at least a couple of months from what yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's just too bad. Was your mom all freaked out and stuff when you told her? Or when well, you when yeah, back? because her and dad both, you know, it was just odd that, oh, you know, in our neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> anything of anything else to ask you um when when you were walking throughout that area what how would you describe it like the area where you you were going to go put up those traps i mean was it like i don't know it was, it, like at the time uh it was just a pasture okay and the the tree line which you can see the tree line of course the tree line's grown up right. quite a bit but that's all it was it was just an empty pasture every now and then they'd put cattle on there but not very often and and now it's row crops uh, but I mean, it's just, it was a pasture like the one to your right. Nothing, nothing fancy, just another spot to go hunting is all it was for me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. How old were you then, you say? Let's see, 87, I'd have been 21. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, 21, yeah. 22, somewhere in that neighborhood. Just going and hunting, no big deal. Mm hmm, yeah. <laughs> just, then... just out riding the wheeler and messing around. And... Yeah, I had always wanted to do a story figuring out like hunters the things that you find i don't think anyone ever really thinks like i'm going to find a dead body no or like that. you, you know, never you think about that stuff, right nothing like that nope yeah yeah it's not one thing you expect to see has that ever bothered you since like, no not really okay no well, that's good I, was, I had no attachment to it so yeah. or her or whatever i think it'd be different if it weren't bones yeah you know, if if it'd probably been person. you know fresh that might have been different, but since it was just the bones and the clothing, it's... Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a bummer, but like I said, we're just trying to put this out there and see what happens. So. Yeah. Okay, well, if you don't have anything more to say, I'll leave it be. So All I'll right. So one more thing right here. I'm just going to do a thing where I... And you dropped something. your phone, so I don't want you to step on okay, it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I put that one down. Uh, I'm going to get a couple... 